Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian today, and I am looking at a very unusual factory experimental Savage, mm, sort of we'll call this a 1907 model uh, pocket pistol. It's in 380 caliber, and what makes it very unusual is it has this extended length barrel. So just for uh, comparison's sake, here is a standard model of 1907. You can see we've got at least an extra inch on there. And there are a number of other very unusual features about this pistol. First off, the magazine release is of the 1915 or 1917 style, where you actually push on the bottom of it with your pinky finger when you're shooting, like so, to eject the magazine. It has a lanyard ring on it, which this isn't super rare, but these were typically only included on a, one of the contracts for Portuguese military 1907 pistols. So finding it on a commercial pistol or a non-Portuguese a non gun is quite rare. And then, even more interesting, this gun has a totally non-standard slide release. So the 1907 pistols typically didn't have hold-open devices in the first place. This one does have the hold-open cut in the magazine, and then it's got this slide release. So I can lock the magazine. When the magazine is empty, it will lock open, and then pull the slide back, hit that guy, and drop the slide. Now what's interesting is this never appeared on any of the standard uh, Savage pocket pistols, but it looks identical to the slide release that was on the Savage model of 1911 45 caliber pistol, which they only made five of. So a very unusual feature. Uh, if you haven't seen the video I did on the, the 45 caliber Savages, you should check that video out and you'll see this slide release on the 1911. Now I have to say, well first off, there are only a couple of these that anybody knows about, uh, long-barreled savages. Uh, there's a savage book out there that documents two. One of them has just a very slightly extended barrel. The other one is this ludicrously long, like a buntline model, made under specific order to a cartridge designer uh, named Charles Newton. But uh, beyond, other than those two, there's one other long-barrel factory experiment that's known, and that's pretty much it. Handling this, however, I am really struck by the feeling that this would make a fantastic European style service pistol. If you think about guns like the Browning model of 1907, uh, used by Sweden and Russia and a couple other countries, this kind of fits that mold very well, and it really is a more comfortable and in some ways a more practical gun as well. Uh, it's in 380, has an eight round or a nine round magazine plus one in the chamber, so a pretty significant capacity. It has a heel style release, sort of, down here which was popular in Europe, and yet it does drop magazines free, so it still gives you a pretty rapid magazine change capacity. The longer barrel gives a little bit more ballistic eff efficacy to the 380 cartridge, and it also gives you a little bit longer sight picture. Now the sight picture on this pistol is not super fantastic, but kind of standard for the time. And then your thumb safety is well located for a right-handed shooter, as is your slide release. So. This feels like it would have been a really cool gun for Savage to make, especially for police or military contracts. And for all I know, maybe that's what they were tinkering with when they built this one. But obviously the project didn't go anywhere because these never showed up in any quantity um, beyond single digits. So our markings on top here are pretty standard for Savage. Um, you go, it's got a 1905 patent date. It's in uh, 380 caliber also. 9 millimeter, 380 and 9 millimeter are, are the same actual measurement when translated back and forth. So nothing really unusual about the frame markings. Our serial number, it is a B serial number right there, as you would expect for a 380 caliber gun. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the opportunity to take a look at a really pretty much a one of a kind, very cool Savage experimental pocket pistol. If you enjoyed it, make sure to tune back into Forgotten Weapons for more experimental pocket pistols.